This is a good time to add the Twitter bootstrap library. Okay, so what I'm going to do is hit run project here. And then I'm going to go look at the project. So click on this link and hit open. Okay, and so right now we're getting the default kind of look and feel of a browser. It's kind of this Times New Roman font. Everything's lined up right against the left. This doesn't look like a modern website. So that's where the Twitter bootstrap library comes in. It's a front end framework so that we can stand on the shoulders of giants and not have to reinvent the wheel. The people at Twitter basically said, you know what? We're building this nice front end UI. Why don't we make it publicly available so that everyone can kind of take the skeleton of it and build their own websites, right? So it kind of makes sense. I mean, that way you're not having to reinvent the wheel. So I'm going to go to just Google and search Twitter bootstrap. And you'll see the first few links that come up should say something like getbootstrap.com. That's the one you want to go to. And that'll take you to their website. So this is getbootstrap.com. And this is where you can find out about Twitter Bootstrap. And I'm going to kind of show you how it works. Um, and you'll see it's actually pretty easy to use once you get started. Now, there are a ton of other front-end frameworks, but Bootstrap is a very popular one. It's not going anywhere. It's going to be around for a really long time. So we're going to use Bootstrap. If you click this Getting Started link, you can kind of read more about how to, how to work with Bootstrap. But I'm going to show you pretty much everything you need to know so that when you're on your own, you can reach in and really maximize using Bootstrap if you're not familiar with it already. So we're going to go ahead and add it to our website, and you'll see it will immediately have some effects. So what I'm going to do, instead of using their main website, you can go to a different website. So if you do a Google search for Bootstrap CDN, and you'll see there is a website called bootstrapcdn.com. I'm going to click that. And what I'm going to do is just copy this first link here where it says complete CSS. Okay, so I'm just going to grab all of this and copy it. And what you should do is make sure that if you're looking at a different version number in here, you want to be copying the same code that I am. So if your version number looks different, you want to change that and make sure it looks exactly like what I'm using. So mine is 3.3.6. So I'm going to copy all of that. And I'm going to go over here to our code. So remember, I'm inside of WP content, themes, and then inside of our custom theme folder. And we're looking at the index.php, the home page of our site. OK, so what I'm going to do is Right here, under Title, I'm going to hit Enter, and I'm going to add this special link tag. And we're also going to add an attribute, so REL equals Style Sheet, and then href equals, and this is where we paste in the link. So I'm going to just paste in the link we copied, and then we need to close this tag off with an angle bracket. Okay, so if I save that, and I go over here now and I refresh, you'll see now our website's looking different. It's got this more modern looking font. It's kind of like this Arial looking font or Helvetica maybe. So we get a lot of perks by using Bootstrap. Um, and I'm gonna just show you a few things really quick so you get a sense for it if you're not familiar. So you get these kinds of CSS uh, libraries kind of built out for you for free. So these components, I should say, they've been written out and all we have to do is just add a little bit of stuff to our HTML and our site will start to look good really fast. So for one thing, we have a responsive grid system. So our site will be immediately responsive. That means it'll look good on mobile devices um, very easily uh, as well as desktop. Um, our site will also be optimized to have good looking buttons, very modern kind of flat UI buttons. And you can always change these. But if you look at how much code goes into just making one of these buttons, I'll right click on it and hit inspect element. You can kind of see the CSS involved here on the right side of this inspector tool. And you can see there are a ton of rules to pull this off to get those rounded corners on these buttons. Uh, and I'll zoom in here. Let's find those buttons again. Yeah. So to get rounded corners, to get that color, to get it to kind of change when you hover over it, 
It takes quite a bit of code to pull off, and that's what's been pre-written for us when we import Bootstrap, like we just did. So by grabbing that CDN link and then dropping it into our site, we have imported Bootstrap. Now, I want to point something out that's really important. This is not actually the correct way to add third-party style sheets. What we've done is just grabbed a CSS document, and we're importing it right inside the head section of our site. This is actually considered a bad practice, and I'm going to show you an alternative that you should be using down the line. But we're just going to put this here for now so that you know. And really quick, I also just want to show you what this code looks like. And again, make sure you have the same exact link here. You want to make sure you have it word for word, so pause the screen as needed. So I'm going to take this over here and I'm going to paste it. And that looks really ugly. I mean, it's a lot of code on the screen, right? But if you go up here and you take out that MIN, the dot MIN right there in the link and hit enter, you can kind of see it now, and this is what normal CSS looks like. So you're getting all of this pre-written stuff. You know, I could scroll for a really long time. You see all this stuff, and this is what's going to make our form fields, our buttons, our headers, our margins. Everything's going to be right there for us, and we can modify it if we want. So this just gives us a really strong starting point, and you can get some really nice results. I mean, a ton of great sites have been built with Bootstrap. Uh, and you can kind of see some of them, some of the examples. If you just kind of look, you know, you can get examples like this, just some of these right here, Newsweek, uh, Vogue. So these are just great examples. I mean, you can really customize it and tweak it to your liking, but it's just a great starting point. One other thing I just want to say is that CDN, what that stands for is Content Delivery Network, and really what that means is it's a bunch of optimized servers um, that are sending very common downloads to people's phones and computers. And that's why Bootstrap is loaded there. It's such a common thing on so many sites that you put it on a content delivery network, CDN. So that means it's got optimal server speed. Okay, so we've got Bootstrap in there now, and we're going to continue building up from here.